Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually show you um, the program that I have that I've written myself that helps me to um, automate some of the things that I commonly do in a classroom. And the desktop that you see in front of you, there's actually two desktops. There's one on, this, on the, bo the border here, and there's another one that's in the middle here. And this is the Mac Mini that c is connected to my projector, my classroom projector. So anything that you see here uh, shows up on the projector. And the, on the side here, on the border, is uh, my, my, my laptop, which is uh, on my desk. So what I do is I often I, I run both at the same time, and that's what you see. So first I'm going to just launch this uh, Active Inspire, which is a commercially available program. And it does all the presentation stuff, that you know, text, uh, colors, and everything. But since I'm a language teacher, I teach English to middle school and high school students, um, I, I often, what I find doing is doing some sort of uh, you know, quizzing of vocabulary and going over material. And um, so what it does, it has a question wizard feature, and it lets me choose the text, the test type, or the question type, and then lets me choose how many multiple choice items to have, and I click next, and it gives me, it lets me choose what format I want, and I always go with this one. I click next, I can ask a question, for example, let's make a simple one. Uh, what does blue mean? And then I scroll down, and I have a bunch of options, but I skip that usually, and I just go to, um, I just say, uh, means sad, or it doesn't mean happy, or it doesn't mean, I don't know, um, excited. Okay, so, and I click on finish, and what it does is it, it formats this nice paper uh, uh, presentation for me, and it's a way of kind of reviewing vocabulary, it's a way of um, going over material, and I use it quite a lot, but the thing is, is like, Every page I make, it takes me quite a long time. I have to go to insert question again and do it all over again. So what I wanted to do, and I thought of this about, about six months ago or a year ago, um, I thought it was, there must be a way to automate this process. Like For example, if I gave it a, a list of words, um, could it automatically um, you know, do this for me? And uh, I've been successful in creating this program, and I, I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to first just close out here, and I have to launch the program from my laptop. All right, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, here it comes. There it is. Now this is actually asking me uh, which um, which computer to use, and it's the first one in my case this time. And I had to enter some passwords, which I'll do real quickly now. The reason I'm entering passwords is because it's controlling it remotely. But anyway, so now what it's done just now, if you notice, it, it actually made a new flip chart page. And that's, that was done by my program. It's actually con controlling uh, the program behind it. So anyway, I entered the word list, and I'm going to stick with colors for our example here. Um, blue, white, black, red, whatever. All right, I hit OK. And what it does is it actually has a database of, uh, a dictionary database. It has definitions of uh, of words in English that I got from, uh, you know, a, a freely available um, uh, framework, which is called uh, WordNet. And basically what it does, it gives me all these definitions, and, or I can write my own if I don't like any of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and pick, uh, I don't know, I'm going to pick the first one of each one first, just to, just to give an example of how this works, okay? And what it does is see, if you see that, it, it lets me modify. If I if they think it's too long, I can kind of delete something and go on with it. All right, That's, so let's pick that. All right, now what it does, it's done. It's gone through each item in, on my word list, and now it asks me, do I want the words on top and the definitions as a multiple choice, or do I want the definition on top and the words as a choice? I'll go to the first option for now, and it will automatically do it for me. It's, I, I'm not actually doing anything at the moment. It's all doing it. It's all automated. So what it does, it actually, it goes through uh, each word, and puts on top, and then it picks, obviously, one of the, the definition, the answer is here, but then at the other two, it shuffles between the other words, and it does it randomly, and it puts up um, some random, um, a random quiz. And it took me literally three seconds, what, what normally would take me possibly an hour just to enter all this, it's already done. All right, so that's how that works. So now that I've given you a pretty simple example of how the program is used, I'm going to use it for, for one that's a little bit more complicated to show how flexible it is. And to do that, I'm going to sh actually show you what I've already made, um, just, to give you, just to give you some concrete um, understanding. And um, this is the title page. I'll skip that. We'll go to the 
page was, explains the assignment that I give kids often. And the assignment in this case is that uh, the textbook I was given has an example of a poorly written formal letter. And the idea is you're asking the students to um, ask them to write a more, formally, a more formal letter. And um, I've done this before, and what happens is that um, there, it's basically a higher order and lower and lower order skills involved. There's the whole idea of, um, you know, like the first sentence state should state a purpose, but at the same time they use, have to use more formal words. And what my students tend to do is they stick to the word level of things, and they, so they change hi to hello. Um, but anyway, so anyway, uh, that's the example. And what I do is I make flip charts that sort of dissect the, the, those skills into bits and pieces. Um, so what I've done is I have a sentence on, from the text on here, and I ask them, like, you know, is this true or false? There is no need to state your name. Is that true or false? Um, for a formal letter, that's false, so we will put an F there, or, et cetera. Or ask them to do it in groups or whatever. Um, but that's basically the idea. So I want a program that's like my word list one, but that lets me write anything I want, not just definitions, you know, basically. And so you can see, again, my next one. It has the same sentence, but this time I ask, I provide the same sentence, which is a replacement for a more formally written version of this sentence. Um, but this time I'll say which one is, has the wrong grammar. Um, or sorry, which one is the correct grammar. So of course they would spell that one. Um, that's the sort of thing I do. Then what I want to happen is then to go to my word list as well but the words like the comprehensive that uh, appear in this in this text, I want it to automatically kind of pick up those words. And at the end of this sort of assignment, this sort of flip chart, to then go over those words. So um, I've done that, and so I can just show you what I mean exactly. I'm just opening the program, and there it is. Okay, so I have to choose which place, and it gives me sentence one. Now for this example, I will use the exact same <clears throat> All right. so what I, what I, I purposely misspelled this word but we'll, we'll see why later but anyway the um now it's asking me is to give the answers to the to this particular sentence or this particular question or whatever I want there, and um, so I'll just put for now I'll just put B C whatever, and then I'm done, and then it wants me to select the words that I want to concentrate on, and I'm going to concentrate on all the words that are not names, and I can pick and choose you know what I want, but I'm going to have all of them this time, and I hit OK, and that misspelled word it actually picks up, and I can change oops comp pre. And so there you go. Okay, and then it goes to my word list thing. And I'm just going to go real quickly through this. And it now asks me how many multiple choice items. I can have as many as five if I want, or two, or whatever. I'll just stick with three this for a moment. And same selection as before, and off it goes. And it will actually um, start with the sentences that I gave it. All right, and it's still misspelled. That's, an, that's a, something I want to iron out later. But anyway, so it, it does it automatically for me, those sentences, and then goes right into the definitions at the top with the words shuffled in random order. So it's kind of like a, a quiz at the end. And that's, what, um, that's how I use uh, this program and what it can do. And ever since I've started using it, I've, you know, my, my, I've, been, I've been far more uh, productive with my delivery of the content. So that's how it works.